Okay, over here, picking up some auction stuff. I got my paperwork, just trying to find who I need to find. And, uh, well, then we can go get everything loaded up. bad I mean yeah the tires are flat um, I had it in neutral it rolls freely I put it in gear it does not that's actually a really good sign um, there's some cool little things on it that kind of tell, gives you a little bit of the I guess uh, what's the term history of it and uh, it doesn't look too bad um, but we'll, we'll get back over to the shop and uh, take a closer look at it and you know, I, I did try to crank it. It does not crank. So that's, it has that. Uh, but ultimately, what I think we'll do, that was a weird car. So it was like an old Caprice or something with no doors on it, with a big paint sign on it that says wet paint. Oh, you can catch it or not. Back there, I don't know. Anyways, so where was I? Oh yeah, so it doesn't look too terribly bad. It, it's got some cool stuff on it. Um, I noticed some things right out of the gate on it. Um, this mower is actually going to a friend of mine, so we probably won't be doing too much work to it. I'll put it on the battery charger, see if I can't get the battery charged up a little bit, see if we can't get it to turn over. It, 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 I tried the key, it's dead. So. We'll, we'll see what happens. stopping if we get gas almost out the DTE means uh, down to empty I know the flickering is probably giving you seizures so I uh, decided to get some air in the tires it's sitting kind of wonky either. but it's nice because this gas station has some free air as I'm looking at the, the mower on the trailer it almost looks like it's falling off because it's low on this tire here I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull this off. I need both hands. Now she's sitting pretty. All nice and even. It won't look like she's falling off the trailer while she's coming down the road. Which is good. Alright, maybe now I can actually get going. That guy is still there with the RV. I stopped in and picked up some munchies. It's, it, you know, you can get famished picking the stuff up. We got some chili cheese Fritos, some M&M's, and a soda, or pop as it's regionally called here. Um, I usually say pop. I don't know why I call it soda. It just sounds weird. Soda. Whatever. So, alright, now we can probably leave and hit the road. Poor guy, he's still airing up the tires in his RV. I'm guessing he's probably got a nail or something in it. You don't want to really have to change those. He's probably just trying to get along, but at least the air's free. 
takes a while to fill up, but the air is free. And uh, my mower is back there, back there, sitting straight, so it doesn't look like it's falling off the trailer anymore. So uh, yeah, we'll hit the road, get this thing back to the shop now. So I'm going to pop out of the truck right now and just check on it. it. It seems to be bouncing quite a bit, so I don't know if my straps are tight. Um, we might have to do some finagling. I usually end up pulling into this parking lot for some reason with some kind of equipment just to check on it. It's a nice parking lot. It's usually always empty. It's an old yeah, car dealership. Oh yeah, that, that, that looks like it's really holding. Now that one seems to be doing pretty good. I think what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to be able to pull this off right now, but I'm going to take the straps off. I know it rolls, so I will push it up to the front and uh, strap it down there. There we go. That looks so much better. Shouldn't be... too much okay so we got this beautiful MTD yard machine uh, back in the shop we can kind of assess everything uh, it doesn't roll very good so there might be an issue there but this is not for me and fortunately the person it's coming to he's capable enough to figure it out himself but <clears throat> Some of the things to note, looks like those two front tires are original, but they're holding there. Two back tires, they're different. This one over here on this side looks newer. That one over there is really dry rotted. Seems to be holding air at the moment. It's probably how it'll do. Even if it's a slow leak, he'll just put air in it as needed until it completely rots away. Um, so, underneath the hood here. We've got the Tecumseh 13 horsepower Enduro. That's not a surprise. We got oil. Yep, we got oil. It's good enough. Doesn't smell like gasoline burnt or anything like that. That's good. Here's the gas tank over there. Looks like go on the other side. I did put the battery charger in on it. <clears throat> I know that would be something. Let's go check out the gas. Yeah, that's some old gas. It doesn't look too old though. I think we mix some new stuff in there. It'll work. Fuel filter, eh, not too bad. Let's check out our air filter here. Oh, that looks brand new. Somebody's been working on this. They did the standards, it looks like. One of the things we'll two, do is, too is we'll pull the spark plug and figure that out. 
bet you the carb just needed to be clean needs to be cleaned better. I mean, it don't look like anything's been done with that. I don't know if I can get the camera down there. Yeah, it looks really dirty. I don't think they've tried to clean the carb. Maybe they ran some seafoam through it or something. I did put the battery charger on it. I knew that was dead. Key ignition. Lights don't work. Yeah, let's give it a whirl. Well, it does turn. Just think I need to wait a little while longer for that battery to charge up. Yeah. That meter should be down at zero. <clears throat> Overall, it don't look too bad. I mean, until it get, we can get it running and see if it moves. I'm sure there's nothing wrong with the transmission or anything like that. But uh, I'll start by popping out the spark plug and spraying some starter fluid in there. And we'll let this charge for a little while longer too. Get some straps off. Looks like I lost a strap. That's right. That's why I put two of them on. So nine three twenty. I'm guessing that might be no. Yeah, September third, twenty twenty. I might have to. Uh, Actually, look up how to read those codes, but that DOM is probably date of manufacture. So it, it's, it's probably good 22-year-old, almost 22-year-old lawnmower here. That's not too too old. Oh, look at that. It has the mulch plug in it. I don't know how it comes out, but it's in there. Probably some kind of lever or something. That's kind of cool. You usually don't see those, especially in a garden tractor. It's a 38 inch, 13 horsepower, shift and a go. Woo, crazy. So, that's where we're at. We're just going to wait for this thing to charge up. We'll pop out the spark plug, throw some starter fluid in there. See if we can't get it to do a little putt putts. It's actually coming along pretty quick, and uh, we'll we'll go from there. That might help with starting it. So I went and pulled out the spark plug here, and I mean that doesn't look too terribly bad. A little carbon filed, but not too bad. So we can just squirt some starter fluid down there. We'll pop this sucker back in after cleaning it up. And uh, see if we can get her to crank over. We got some starter fluid in it. I just uh, took the old battery out, borrowed one from my Zero Turn. Got to remember to put that one back in. The old one's sitting on the charger right now. And, uh, you know, it doesn't really do that. Look like there's any kind of.
that's promising. Well, it looks like all I gotta do is clean out this carburetor. I mean, it looks like they did everything else except that. Um, probably want to drain the fuel too. I don't know if I'm gonna mess with that or not. I'll see what, what kind of time I have tonight. Uh, like I said, it's, it's going into capable hands, so it's kind of nice to see though that it'll at least put putt it just a little bit. You know, um, it would be really nice to be able to get this thing going so I can get this to drive this off the trailer instead of having to push it. But it's hot out, and I don't really need to mess with this right now, so we're just I'm just gonna. Leave it for now. Okay, so we're going to give the yard machine's uh, carburetor a little bit of a bath. Try to clean it up, see if we can't get it running. It's going to be a lot easier to get it on and off this trailer if it's running on and working on its own power as opposed to, well, just kind of sitting there and having to push it on and off. So that's where we're going to head to is get the carburetor off and hopefully we can get that all cleaned up. Okay, so I'm actually dealing right now with a text message fest from a friend of mine that this is going to. He's very excited about it. And he's kind of upset that I'm going to clean up the carburetor because it's like it, it takes all the fun out of it. That's weird. Maybe if we just pull the screw all the way out. All right, so we're going to get started on this carb. We're going to need some ratchets and stuff. Let's go grab those. Have fun. got the carburetor now in the ultrasonic cleaner. Um, no, I mean, the, the gas smells like varnish out of the carburetor. Stuff in the tank didn't smell too bad. Okay. Moment of truth here. Everything looks pretty clean. 
Now it's time to take all these pieces, now that they're cleaned, and clean them. I know, that's weird. Okay, so now is the time that we find out will this do it. Um, let's, well, let's find out. It may sound like it was running, but it wasn't. Um, I was squirting starter fluid in the carburetor, which was keeping it running. Actually, I guess it was carb cleaner, but either way, that's what was keeping it running. Um, for some reason, the fuel filter doesn't seem to have any fuel in it. So I'm going to take a look, see if there's any shutoff valves or anything I may have missed. And uh, otherwise, that, that hose is plugged up, but I don't understand because it drained it just fine. So we'll, we'll figure it out. So I went ahead and replace the fuel filter. For whatever reason, gas was not flowing through this one at all. I mean, there's actually gas in here. If I turn it the other way, you can see it comes out. So for whatever reason, the gas wasn't flowing through here. That is probably 
what the issue with this mower was. The guy did the full tune-up, uh, except for the fuel filter. I put in one of the little cheap red ones. Now we can go see if it'll run. Well, I've narrowed down the issue to the carburetor. It's getting fuel into the carburetor. So there's something in there that's not clicking right or something. Um, probably needs a new carburetor. And frankly, it's not my mower to mess with. So someone else can take care of that. So um, this pretty much calls it. And I might, might try to mess with it a little bit more to see if I can get something going. But it pretty much this pretty much does it. Yeah, if not, you'll see in the next clip it running. Otherwise, you'll see the title screen.